Hello everyone, welcome to Legacy Ace Academy. In this video, we will be talking about India and Germany relationship. So you can consider this to be a very important topic under GS Paper 2 under international relations. As Germany is India's largest trading partner in the entire European Union and Germany is very well known for its time development in science and technology, especially when it comes to automobiles. So Germany plays a very crucial role with respect to India's relationship to the West. So we will talk about India's and the Germany's relationship. So let's begin. Why did we even talk about Germany? What is the context in which we are discussing this? You can see here Olaf Scholz, who is the present German Chancellor, had visited India on 25th to 26th December. So for the two day visit, Olaf Scholz, who is the German Chancellor, was in India. So because of this reason, we are talking about India and German relationship. Before we begin, if at all there is a question in the UPSC prelims about the location of Germany or any other European country, you should be in a very better position to answer this. This map will help you answer the questions with respect to maps. You can see here, Germany, which is bordered and the capital city is Berlin, bordered by countries like Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, a very huge part, Switzerland, Austria, Czech Republic, Poland. Okay. See, this is a small patch which belongs to Russia, which means Russia is not a country which is bordered with Germany. You cannot neglect Denmark also. <clears throat> okay. Denmark also has a small patch of land boundary with Germany. To the northwestern part, we have North Sea. Okay. And the northeastern part, we have Baltic Sea. Okay, which means in the southern border, Germany has no water body at all. You can see the Mediterranean here. Okay, it has no border. Germany doesn't share any borders with Mediterranean. It shares border with the North Sea and also Baltic Sea. <coughs> this is something that you will have to know with respect to maps. See, India was the first country to recognize Germany as a democratic republic and a sovereign state post Second World War, which means India's relationship with Germany dates back to decades together. Okay, So here you can also talk about the relationship that Subhash Chandra Bose shared with Hitler. There are evidences to prove that the Subhash Chandra Bose travelled to Germany and had a very long conversation happening with Hitler to help to build his army. So unfortunately, the Results of the discussions were not fruitful and Subhash Chandra Bose had to return and when he came back, he landed in Singapore and that's how he took over the relation, took over the leadership of Indian National Army, that is Azad Hind Faust, okay, INA as it is called as. So, which means <clears throat> India's and the Germany's relationship is not today's or tomorrow or to yesterday's or day before yesterday's. It dates back to decades together, like 75 to 75 years of India and the Germany's relationship, it's very old. So trade and investment. Okay, how are we doing with respect to trade and investment? At the beginning of the video, I have I've given you information that the Germany is the largest trading partner that India has in the entire European Union. Okay, Germany is the India's largest trading partner. And, and remember, you don't have to remember the numbers here. Okay, 54.3 billion dollars of trade that we have had. No, not required. But you also need to know, you also need to know whether we are in trade deficit or trade surplus. I'll come to it in the next slide, stay tuned. Germany has also been supporting the construction of a huge solar plant in Maharashtra. Okay, we have, we are working towards climate change. 5.2 billion worth of the defense manufacturing. Okay, the cooperation with respect to the defense manufacturing as the Germans are very good in their uh, automation and they're very good in their development of science and technology. So this is also happening. Germany is the seventh largest FDI getter for India, foreign direct investment. There are more than 150 joint science and technology research projects that India's and the Germans universities have their tie-ups for. You can see here, the green line indicates the India's imports from Germany. The yellow line indicates the India's exports to Germany. It is very well evident. It is very well evident that India has trade deficit with Germany. This is on the only line that you will have to remember. India has trade deficit, which means we import more than we export. <clears throat> Strategic and 
cultural relationship. How about the strategic and the cultural relationship that we have with Germany? India holds the presidency of the G20 now. Okay, in this scenario, how the German Chancellor's visit to India would be very much strategic in the geopolitical world. And we have something called as G4 grouping countries, in which India and Germany both are very good partners, along with the Brazil and Japan here. We have G4 grouping, includes Brazil, Germany, India and Japan. So this is also a multilateral or a regional grouping that India and Germany both are a part of. Germany views India as an important partner for resolving global issues. Not only Germany, most of the countries view India as a troubleshooter uh, or even, even after we start supplying the COVID-19 vaccines to majority of the African countries, India has been viewed in the global politics in a very good positive light. Food security, energy, international peace and security. And when we talk about the cultural relationship, Okay, so during the time of 50, 16th and the 17th century, Max Muller was the first scholar of the Indo-European languages to translate and publish the Upanishads and the Rig Veda. Okay, this is where our cultural relationships actually start. Indian films and the artists regularly feature in something called as Berlin International Film Festival. Berlin International Film Festival. Okay, and the Indian film festivals, <coughs> which means our Bollywood, our Bollywood and the literature are two important soft tools that are connecting the people of India and also Germany. And a lot of Indian students find Germany to be a very attractive destination for their uh, postgraduate studies. Okay, For example, the master's studies, Germany is considered to be a very ideal location even after, the, even after completing the postgraduate studies, it's easy to get into a job in Germany because Germany is very good, very advanced when it comes to technical skills and the industry. And um, this is what we have with respect to India and the Germany relationship. So this becomes a very important topic from the GS2 part and also under the international relations that is IR. For more such enlightening videos, subscribe to Legacy Eyes Academy. Have a nice day. Thank you.